What's that about an Ami Ami shake? What you guys talking about an Ami Ami shake? For Ami Ami's birthday at Mickey D's? <laughs> Mickey D's nuts. <laughs> you guys are you guys are messing me up, man. You guys are. <laughs> I'm I'm going I'm going crazy because of you guys. <laughs> Konkero, Konkero, happy to see you. I am doing well. I, I, uh, talked to Mare-chan today and it was fun. Uh, we talked about lots of cool projects that Ami Ami's working on and I can't wait to share with you. And, um, I've been doing lots of, like, songwriting and recording things and, and all of that today and then... I took a big fat nap in the middle of the day. And it's been okay. It's been alright. An Ami Ami shake. Okay, so what's the difference between an Eru shake and an Ami Ami shake? Behold the difference be. 2013 Harlem shake. 2023 Grimace shake. 2033 Ami shake. <laughs> oh gosh, Harlem shake. How was that again? It was like... <laughs> Hope you had the biggest and fattest nap. It wasn't that fat of a nap now that I think about it. Um Do the frog shaker. Shaka shaka shaka. Shaka shaka shaka. Shaka 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 shaka. Shaka shaka shaka. Um maybe the flavor, maybe the demons? The demons? What's a demon flavored? What is demon flavored? Ami Ami's would be an angel shake though, clearly. You guys said like blueberries or something? The froggy's on the telly. The fro froggy's on the telly. Froggy's on the telly now. Uh, will Ami shake the... Will uh, the Ami shake turn the world upside down? It'll do the opposite of the Grimace shake. You know? Some people... Like... Some people... Some people... Mm, exploded and imploded and all the ploded when they had the Grimace shake. But for the Ami shake... Uh, I guess it would send you to Frogvana in a more positive light. That just sounds like drugs, actually. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's healthy. It's good for you. It's got probiotics because it's got blueberry in it. The chaotic energy is immediately high today. That's... <laughs> um, eh, eh, you are so hype right now. I should see the stream at 0.75 speed. Eh? Eh, am I, like, extra energetic today? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Blueberries plus raspberries plus lemon plus frog equals Ami Shake. Frog? Surely it's just a decorative frog, right? <gasps> oh, did you guys see that Kung Fu Tea is gonna be doing a collaboration with Pikmin 4? So there's gonna be... There's gonna be Pikmin Bobas. Pikmin Bobas at Kung Fu Tea. I've never been to a Kung Fu Tea before. But, um, surely there's a... Surely there's a Kung Fu Tea somewhere. Uh, Ami Shake is an Omori healing item. Yes! <laughs> Man, maybe I should replay Omori with you guys on stream sometime so that you can meet my, uh... Meet my husband, Hiro, from Omori. <laughs> um, will the Ami Shake plat you then? plat -plode? I don't know if any... I've never seen someone get plat -ploded before. I don't know what that involves. Yes, 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 yes. You wanna watch me play Omori? And then I can voice act it too. I can do my cow voice. Did you know that the whole reason why I learned to do my my voice like this, like my uh, my uh, prepubescent boy voice, was because of Kel and Omori? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe I could play Omori with you guys sometime. Maybe the army kept on plapping. Just keep plapping. Just keep plapping. Just keep plapping, plapping, plapping. Uh. I don't remember how the rest of Dory's song goes. I don't remember. Ami Ketchum. Ami Ketchum? So there's Ash, Ash Ketchum and then there's Ami Ketchup. Can you do a basal voice? Honestly, my basal voice just kind of sounds like this. Because he's just like a... He's a quiet, shy boy, you know? Ami Ami's my favorite prepubescent boy. Is Ami Ami also your favorite prepubescent girl? Also your favorite adult woman? Also your favorite frog? Also your favorite princess? Also your favorite idol? Also your favorite... Cryptid? Ash Ketchum versus Ami Ketchup. Yes! 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 <laughs> Dami Kuso, what is that? 
I, 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 you told me who Dan Kuso is before. I, I like forgot already. I forgot. Gomenne? Gomenne? Ami Ami is my favorite, favorite. Oh, your favorite, favorite? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh yeah. So, 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 before we hop into some magical girling, which I'm very excited for. I've been, uh, this is one of the, the game that we're gonna play today is one of the games that we got excited for during the Wholesome Direct when we watched it together earlier this year. It is called Life Before Magic, or Life After, sorry, Life After Magic. Because it's about what happens after you're a magical girl. Like, when you're a retired magical girl, basically. I'm very excited for it. Hopefully, Ami Ami is your favorite magical girl as well. I'm gonna try voice acting it too. And surely, because it's a visual novel, we're probably gonna need multiple streams for this. Because we are going to be raiding into Shiki Senpai after this as well to celebrate her giant, her giant major label debut release. Yes. Um, Ami as Pikmin Mom will have a place in my heart for a long time to come. What? <laughs> Makes me happy. Pikmin, Pikmin, Mama, Mommy. Wait, Pikmin, Ami, a Mommy. Fan art, when? When? Never heard of this game before because it's very new. It just came out like last month, literally. Um, it's called Life After Magic and it is a retro style visual novel and I'm really excited to play it. Very excited. Um, <laughs> excuse me. I remember when I asked for Perms to stream it, um, one of the Monetons got back and was like, Actually, did you know that one of the devs of this game is a Prismor? Like, one of the devs of this game is a Prism fan? And I was like, wow! I hope I can make them proud, that's so cool! That's so cool! Also, Yang Wenli, welcome! Kunkero, I'm having a splendid day now that I'm with you guys! Yeah! One of the devs is a Prismer! So I am really, really excited to check it out! It just so happens that the game that I was, um, excited for was developed by a Prismer! Who's their Prism Oshi? I didn't ask. I didn't ask. I... I didn't think to ask! <laughs> But considering that they've been a prisoner for a long time, probably one of my senpais. Probably. Hi, Jax. How you doing, Konkero? You're a game dev and a prison fan because Ami brought me here. Eh? I'm so happy that I could bring you here and introduce you to the prison family. Also, it'd be so cool to check out one of your games sometime, Katarno. That'd be really cool. Um, yeah, any of you guys. I, I just love hearing what kinds of cool creative projects you're working on. And Life After Magic is one I'm really excited to check out. Um, um, before we get started though, I saw that there was, <laughs> there was a trending topic on Twitter. Like, as I was making my, my like, oh, I'm going live post on Twitter, I saw that the term cat pervert was trending. And I had to look into it. <laughs> so that's why, I, like... That's what I was doing right before I actually hit the button on starting stream. Also, Konkero! Konkero GA, welcome in! Uh, hi, Luca! Konkero, welcome in! I know! Cat pervert, so I clicked it, right? And then there was this video that somebody was taking on their phone of their neighbors. They had a, they had, it was one couple that was being harassed by their neighbors, which were another couple. Um, because the neighbors' cat was wandering outside and, and would like hang out in their backyard sometimes. And then they were like, You are holding our cat! You are, you are, you are holding our cat hostage, you cat perverts. And the people were like, No, your cat literally just wandered into our backyard. It's not like we can tell her to just go away. And they're like, Yeah, you tell her, go home, and she'll go back home. And they're like, No, cats do not speak English. Like, do you, do you understand? I don't know if I'm explaining this properly, but they were getting Karen by their, like, their neighbors are Karens because they didn't like the fact that their cat was hanging out in, in, somebody else's backyard. Yeah. Uh, Ami, do you plan to be the first prison VTuber to join Threads? See, I would have been the first prison VTuber to join Instagram, and thus Threads. But, um, Ami ha is having a hard time joining Instagram for some reason, because Instagram doesn't think I'm a real person. When clearly, I am a real person. Cats don't usually listen even to the own their owners. Exactly! Exactly! 
equals on Insta the whole man, then I wouldn't be the first one. But I did want to be the first one on threads. Um, so maybe we shall see. I know, I know, I don't know why. So I was gonna have an Instagram on debut, but then Instagram was like, no, you're sassy. And then I was like, huh? Huh? So yeah, I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to actually make a... Make an account, but hopefully one day. Yeah, they're, they're mad because they're cat. Yeah, basically. But I mean, cats feel like that. And then if you let your cat be an outside cat, they're gonna definitely do that, you know? They're gonna definitely do that. Hi, Fizzle, Konkero. Hi, John, Konkero. I know, right? So that's why Cat Pervert is trending right now, because a bunch of Karens. For a moment, I thought the neighbors... When neighbors came into the Cat Pervert story, it was like voyeur pics of the neighbor's cat. I know, I thought it was gonna be like, like pictures of like cats doing stupid sexy poses, because sometimes when my cat is cleaning himself, he does like a paint me like one of your French girls pose, you know? But then, unfortunately, it was just people being a bunch of Karens. So... Yeah, that's, uh, that's Amiyami's discovery of the day. <laughs> that is Amiyami's discovery of the day. And now we are going to get started with Life After Magic. I don't want to hold us up too long because today is going to have to be a shorter stream, sadly. But we will be continuing Life After Magic another day as well. So, let's go ahead and get started with it. Eh? <laughs> Thank you so much, Ray Ray, for joining Frog Champs. Mwah, welcome in, welcome in. Welcome in, Slurp. Yep, the first thing you hear is paint me like one of your French girls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you guys paint me like one of your French frogs. French frogs? That sounds like French fries. Oh my gosh. Random cat story. In the building across from me, there's a big fluffy white cat that likes to hang out on the balcony outside of the railing. We are like 20 plus stories up. Oh my gosh. Cats really aren't afraid of anything, huh? Um... Yeah, Konami! Ko Konami? <laughs> Konkero, Konkero. Can you paint me like one of, your, my friend, one of your french fries? Yeah, you can... <laughs> paint me like one of your french fries. Paint me like one of your french fries. Hi! So... Hold on. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh, the art is so cute, though. <gasps> the art and the music both feel so retro. Settings. Pixel sands, deja vu sands. Uh... Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. I know I love the pixel style too! Oh, so cute. Look at all these... Look at all these cute magical... Magical girls. Look at them. Magical people. Wow. So cute. I wonder who's gonna be my best girl. What is your name? <gasps> I can name myself! This is us? We're so cute. We're so cute. Where's Comic Sans? Go men in, no Comic Sans. I know the punk, the punk looking one is so cute too. My name is Ami. Hi, I'm Ami. I'm a, I'm a. T <laughs> Man, do I have to say this? Okay. Hi, I'm Ami. I'm a 22 year old high school dropout who's a bit of a klutz. To hit that up. My blood type is O, my star sign is Libra, and some days I wish I didn't save the world. Why? I should probably provide some context for that, huh? We are adorable. Wow, we're so cute! Look at us, we're so cute! See, a few years ago, my best friends and I were fighting the forces of darkness almost every week. Oh, as they, as we do as magical girls. We were the Sentinels of Justice, and I was their leader, Princess Sentinel Starlight. That's me! I am a princess! We saved humanity more times than I can remember. You could say we were a big deal. Except, we were all still in high school, so we had to keep our identity secret. As we do! <laughs> 
And after many years battling countless foes, we finally defeated the Demon Queen Azrella. Our long war was finally over. And that's the worst part. It was all over. All of it. In a few short months, the Sentinels went our separate ways. We retired from magical girlhood. And that's when my life really started to take a turn for the worse. Oh no... We peaked in high school. Something most people don't realize about heroes is how saving the world all the time has its price. Oh, I learned that in Yukiuna. And in Madoka. My price was terrible grades all throughout school. And in the end, I dropped out entirely. Ugh. I never applied to college, vocational school, or considered any careers outside of being a magical girl. I didn't even have time to think about it. I mean, the fate of the world is more important. Turns out, saving the world from doom about once a week for five years isn't something you can put on your resume. My life peaked at 15. And now? I'm grinding away at a dead-end job at a makeup store to try and make rent. Living in a coastal city like Diamond Cove on minimum wage is a daily struggle. But worst of all, I never see my Sentinel squad anymore. Even when we promised to stay together. No matter what. Nobody warned me that maintaining friendships as an adult is more challenging than any supervillain. Oh my god, this game is too real! This game is too real! <laughs> what kind of happy ending is this? My life's a joke! I'm broke and my love life's DOA! My love life's DOA! In a week and a half, it'll be New Year's Eve and everyone's all excited or terrified for the year 2000 in the new millennium. Oh my gosh, that was a long... Ami was a baby. I mean, not this Ami though. This Ami was... was in college. Kulig. Or like Kulig aged. But I don't even know what I want to do tomorrow, let alone the rest of my life. Was that the actual line from the song? I think so. Yeah, my love's like My love life's DOA. Dead on arrival. Yeah, I think that was the actual lyric. At least I still have one friend left from those days. Holmst! Is it my magical... Yes, I knew it! I knew it! Uh, I wish we could re rename the mascot character too to be named Edu. Ami, you sound... You seem kind of down today. What's the matter? Oh yeah, I should probably explain. I have one remaining friend from those days. My cat. He talks and comes from outer space. I may need to explain the details another time. Hopefully, that means that he lives longer than normal cats do as well. That's Edu! Oh, it's nothing. Come to think of it, you've been down a lot lately. It's not befitting behavior for a world-saving alien princess. I'm an, I'm an alien! Dreams really do come true! Is there anything I can help with? I want to eat ice cream under my bed sheets and then cry myself to sleep. Could you give me more bad guys to fight? Yeah, I want to eat ice cream under my bed sheets and cry myself to sleep. Honestly, yeah. Therefore, how much ice cream do we have left in the freezer? Not again. <laughs> Come on, Eru! I wanted to make the pillow for it again and then eat ice cream in it. Mm -hmm. It comforts me to be in an isolated environment before I have to go to work. Ami, um, still eating ice cream for breakfast is really bad for you. Then why is it so tasty? I have a really high metabolism. Anyways, you're not the boss of me. Maybe so, but you know I'm right, yeah. You know. <sighs> toast it is. You would think it'd be cup ramen or something. Well, I would have toast if my damn roommate would buy groceries once in a while. Looks like I'll need to skip breakfast again. Oh, nuts. I'm gonna be late for work, too. I'd better bust out the rollerblades and get hustling. My manager said today is gonna be really, really extra super important. I wonder what it could be. Maybe it's a... It's December 20th. It's a holiday sale. Ah, Glamour Pop. One of the last stores still open in this dying mall. But inside, you wouldn't know it. It's wall-to-wall -wall cosmetics and hair products, beautifully arranged. The corporation is doing so well, they may knock down the vault into the next door and expand there, too. You would think they would pay me more as well. It's not the most exciting job, but it pays the bills for now. Well, sort of. You'd think if they can expand the store, they could raise our, w raise our wages a little bit. See? That's what I'm talking about! 
Yeah, she's late but no toast. That means no bumping to, into any handsome... Handsome people. But at least I made a friend here, which makes it more bearable. Lise is my coworker, but it's more accurate to say she's my work wife. Even if the week is a total crapshoot, at least somebody here has my back. Well, that's nice that she has a work wife. She's my first real friend who isn't also a magical girl. Did you not have friends before you became a magical girl? And she knows nothing about my past. It's sort of refreshing. Lise is funny, passionate about the environment. There when I need her, steady, is basically my rock. She's also... Hiding behind the counter, hyperventilating. Oh, that's a mood too. Oh, she's cute! Why are there so many people here? It's not that many. Okay, wait, it is kind of a lot. I'm, <laughs> I could freak out too, but somebody's gotta be the calm one. You got this. Remember what we say when things get tough? I am tough like spider silk. And that's the strongest thing ever, really? Is it? Is that true? I'm gonna have to ask Amiya sometime or something. Hey, maybe... Hermit, maybe it's an environmentally friendly makeup brand that doesn't do any animal testing. We shall see. You'd be extremely careful about non-magical friends. You don't want to drag them into the peril. Oh, I thought you were gonna say you don't want them to dox you, but that too. That too. Um... Arguably, the shell of a tortoise could be considered stronger if you take into account the... Please, concentrate. Spider silk is very powerful for its size. Ah, for its size. I wonder what the most powerful material out there is, though. Wasn't something happening today? Oh, right. Please, today is the start of our promotion for that super special makeup line our manager has been bugging us about. They're bringing in a celebrity guest. Remember? <laughs> what? Oh, we get Gidget the Taco Hut Chihuahua? Gidget the Taco Hut Chihuahua? No, a human celebrity. Oh yeah, we can't use makeup on animals. That is bad. Apparently, some big shot from corporate's here to introduce us to the line. Better get ready. This will be a first for us. Usually, they don't care about us retail plebeians. Uh... The celebrity guest. I wonder who it could be. I really, really hope that it's the Taco Bell Chihuahua. I really hope so. Hey, you two. Get your act together. Our guests are coming soon. I turn around to spot two women walking side by side through the store's front doors. The store front doors! One is clearly from Glamour Pop's headquarters. She's carrying a large briefcase and her eyes narrow when she sees us. Mommy? Something about her is kind of familiar. And then it clicks. I've seen her on Borbs! That fancy business magazine that prompts up successful rich people! Her name is Anna Lee, the woman who rapidly climbed the rack ranks of Glamour Pop and turned it into a makeup empire. Oh! You know what? I read on Steam that she has her very, very own DLC now, so you could play her route. I wonder if she's romanceable. You, man, I love Borbs, right? Borbs, Borbs is the shiz. Taco Bell Chihuahua for life, right? I know, I want to see the Chihuahua. They say she's a business genius, but she's ruthless too. A nightmare to handle. My manager is putting on his best customer service smile for her. I bet he's scared straight. Is he gay? As for the woman walking next to her... Cause you know, like, scared straight... Never, never mind. I see a flash of pink... Isn't that like... Isn't she part of our... She was, she was part of our crew? I see a flash of pink as a woman decked out in elegant cream-colored idol attire trots by Annalise's side. <gasps> Is that also Ami Ami? Everyone knows her as Aura now, but I knew her as Boyong Kim, our second-in-command Lieutenant Sentinel Aurora. We've had our ups and downs. She's caring, but opinionated and hot-headed. Back then, we were close, but we argued a lot. Oh, she's cute, she's cute, she's cute. After the final battle, we kept in touch for a few months, but that faded out. I haven't talked to her in years. Since then, she entered the music industry and became a pop idol. And she's been popular since debut. <gasps> Why can't Ami do that? I would have been happy for her, but... We were supposed to keep our, our identities a secret. When she debuted, she revealed herself as Sentinel Aura to the entire world. Ah, no wonder she blew up! No wonder she went viral! She doxed herself. It was obviously a marketing tactic, but her new fans ate it up. 
I'm disappointed in her. I never thought she would use her identity to try and gain fame. I bet she's changed even more now. I mean... You gotta do what you gotta do to eat, honestly. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if she pretended not to recognize me. As Aura glances over the crowd, she locks eyes with me immediately. <gasps> She's coming over here! Ami? What are you doing here? Actually, I work here now. Oh. Uh. Oh, this is an awkward encounter. You know, if you ever, like, run into, like, classmates from high school or something like that... That, like, are in a very different place in life than you and you're like... <sighs> Ara fiddles with her necklace, which I recognize as her sentinel ring. We each have one and it's the source of all our magical girl powers. Do we still have the powers? She still wears it after all these years, huh? The silence hangs in the air and the atmosphere is awkward. It's been so long that I'm not sure what to say. It's nice to see you again, Boyong. You can call me Aura now. It's my stage name, but I prefer it to my real name. Oh, okay. Got it. No problem. So, what have you been up to lately? I haven't heard from you in ages. Aura, well, it's nice you've reunited with your, uh, friend. Why don't we get down to business? Everyone else is waiting for us, after all. Right, sorry. I'm ready when you are. Annalie claps her hands, and everybody in the store stands at attention. Glamour Pop is proud to announce the greatest, most ambitious launch in our company's history. Annalie lays down her briefcase on one of the empty tables. She opens it up to reveal a trove of plastic sample bags full of packaged makeup. From what I can see, everything looks cute and colorful, with star and ring motifs. Just what I like! <gasps> cute! The color coding reminds me a lot of the Sentinels, actually. We'll be doing our first ever Magical Girl-themed makeup release, using the iconic imagery of Diamond Cove's very own Super Sentinels. Make me the poster girl! What? Annalie continues on explaining the specifics of the so-called collaboration, while my mind reels. I sure shoot Aura a pointed look. How could she have let this happen? First, she uses the Sentinels to pave her way to fame, and now she's allowing her image to be used for marketing makeup products? Betrayal, though. As a former member of the Sentinels, I'm so excited to share our history with all of Glamour Pop's customers. Please support the new line. She must be joking, right? Or is this some crazy dream that I have to wake up from? Like all the Pikmin dreams. I pinch myself, nope. This is happening. Uh, Aura, this is such an interesting concept. One that I would have loved to hear about ahead of time. You know, you could have called to tell me about how you're selling the image of my... I, I mean, your group. Oh, don't be silly, Ami. That'd be breaking my NDA. She gives me a half-smile, half-grimace while blinking rapidly from me to Amelie. She's blinking because she needs help. Wow. Liz seems to pick up on my discomfort. Why magical girls, though? They say they are always saving the Earth, but when I see them fight, it's just magical people fighting magical villains. Then nature and regular people pay the price of their collateral damage. That's true! Though, you know, um, sometimes in pre-care, at the very least, they address this. The, the world magically gets, like, buildings magically get repaired and stuff. Don't let your pimpkin dreams be dreamed. I'll try not to, John. Also, Tip, thank you so much for that tip. I like Tip, too. Couldn't they use their powers for more pressing issues? Or better yet, couldn't we have heroes that aren't moon-charged, but are just regular people doing the hard work of really saving the Earth? Oh, man. Um... Ah... Uh, I feel like... Okay. If this, if this has romance in it, I feel like this one definitely will get us with Aura. This one will get us with Lee's, and then this one... I don't know. I guess I'll just deflect. I will just deflect or something. I am indecisive. 
She's trying to she's trying to defend me, my friend. What if we had gotten Sarah Michelle Geller as a celebrity? Wouldn't a Buffy makeup line be awesome? And um Willow would be cool. Ara looks baffled by the conversation. Moral opinions on magical girls aside. Who's your best girl so far anyway? We are literally like 15 minutes in. Um I would say so far. I think I think Ara's really cute, but I don't like how she's being really like underhanded about this whole thing. I think Lee's is my best girl so far. I mean, what would have happened if the magical villains weren't fought? Just destroy the earth? Yeah, I do wonder. Do they ever make their intentions like clear to the public? Do they? I lean into Ara, whisper distance. Ara, you really don't think I would have approved something like this, would you? I suppose not, considering you're not in charge of it for once. Wow, is she bitter? Is she bitter? She's bitter. Dimly, I get the sense I am getting glared at, and it's not just from my manager. I turn my attention back to Annalie as Aura glides back over to her side. Ahem. <clears throat> Regardless of your personal feelings, the reason we're here is to offer our prospective customers free samples of the sentimentality line. The employees, of course, get first pick. Perhaps that'll change your mind. Also, thank you so much, Midori Field, for the Donna. Thanks for playing. <gasps> thank you so much for your hard work on the game. I really appreciate it. I am really, really loving the vibe of it so far, and the characters are so charming. Really. Perhaps that'll change your mind. We start to open up the samples Annalie presented us with. Admittedly, the formulas for this line seem solid. I mean, they're probably super cute. I love magical girl themed makeup. <gasps> I, I don't know, maybe I'll try to take a picture sometime, but I have this makeup from Flower Nose. It's a brand called Flower Nose, and it's very magical girl sparkly looking. So cute. The eyeshadow glides over my eyelid and the lipstick's creamy base feels great to apply. I take a glance over at Lise and can't help but crack a smile. <laughs> Lise, are you trying on the makeup your way again? You know it. Goodness gracious, what on earth are you doing to your face? <laughs> I love Annalise's face, oh my god. Did you know that flamingos use an oil secreted from their butts to keep their pink feathers from fading in the sun? It's like rouge. This pink reminds me of that. Oh my god. How ridiculous. I thought you trained these girls. Just because she applies it like that to herself doesn't mean she applies it like that to her customers. Um, also, Ukiyo, thank you for being a frog champ for a whole month. Mwah. Reject magical girl, return to the frog. What if I want to be both? Porky no los dos. Mm. Ma'am, we do. This hire just has unique taste. You bet she's unique. I always look forward to her next look. The way she does eyeliner is totally the future. It's not even near her eyes. I like to make pretty leaves on my cheeks, like I'm hiding in the jungle. She's so cute! Okay, Elise, so far Elise is my best girl, so far. Well, that certainly was a demonstration of our makeup. Count on my weird Elise to brighten up a bad situation. A demonstration of what not to do? Now our manager looks like she, he's about to pass out. Ah! Please don't fire me. I have I have a cat to feed at home. Uh, did I do it wrong? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I thought she knew. This is just such a special occasion, and she was very excited to try on everything. <laughs> Are you an idiot? What do I pay your salary for? Image is power, and this is not. The glamour pop image. She's so scary and pretty. Oh, that's such a mood! Oh, so what a mood, what a mood. Almost prettier when she's scary. Liz looks like she might faint or develop an unhealthy fixation. Will she get fired? Find out next time, just kidding. I should do something! Signal Aura for help, put makeup on... Put the makeup on wrong. Get an Annalise face. That, I feel like that can only lead to me getting fired. So, let me signal Aura. So, surely she will help me. Surely. To make up for her transgressions. 
I make eyes at Aura. Help us! I think she gets it. Creativity and self-expression are part parts of my image, which is on this brand, so I see she can use the makeup however she wants. Is that so? Annalise seems to cool off. I mouth, thank you, to Aura, who gives me a look that says, you owe me. I guess the strange girl can stay. But Annalie turns to the manager. But you're fine. Whoa! No! I, uh, who's gonna pay my... My paycheck. What? I... I must get to my next meeting, Ara. Come along. Other stores are expecting us, after all. Expect shipments with more sample packages inside. We'll be distributing these to our customers over the next couple of days. My manager opens the door for Annalie and Aura as they walk out. He looks utterly defeated. Oh, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Aura glances back at me at the last moment. I give her a look as if to say, We're talking about this later. Liz nudges me. My life flashed before my eyes. Thank you for your help back there. Anytime. That Annalise sure is a firecracker, as in she's hot! And sparkly! The day just got started, but I feel like I just got off a roller coaster. That's when I see Alistair come crawling around the corner. What does he want now? Why is he. Why are you here? Shouldn't you be doing cat stuff at home? A kitty! Wait, um. It's too late. Lee's is showering Alistair with pets. He seems to accept them, so I wait a moment. It's a long moment. Um, Lee's. Shouldn't you watch the register? Oh my gosh, I forgot about my job! Alistair, what are you doing here? I don't think seeing Aura on today of all days was an accident. Oh, so he saw Aura walk out, huh? Something of fate is in the air, Ami. You should call the others, nah. Really? I don't think they want to hear from me. You can't ignore my magical cat senses. They are never wrong! Can your magical cat senses mend these years of tense silence and resentment? Why do- okay, but now I'm wondering why they resent me so much. Was I a bad leader? Oh, don't be so dramatic. I am not going to call them, and to be honest, I don't even have their numbers. It's that or you may find a hairball on your pillow later. You're gonna do it anyway! My cat just like, pukes and poops on my bed all the time. Peak voice acting, thank you, Shauna, thank you. Gather the sentinels. Fine. It has been a long time. I don't even know how to start finding the sentinels again. Jackie? Yeah, Jackie wouldn't scream and run away at the sight of me. I think. I'll drop in on the gym where she trains. Hopefully she's there. Going to the same gym after all these years? Hopefully. I'm just going to appease Alistair, then it's back to regular, old, boring life. After making it home, I feed Alistair an early dinner and touch up my makeup before heading back. If I'm to find Jackie, the best place to start would be the Golden Clove, Golden Glove Gym. Jackie practically lived there back when we were still in high school. I'm hoping that's still the case now. I take the path I know best through Cove Park and expect to be tied up with anxious feelings of doubt. The backgrounds are really pretty for this too! I love the pixel art. But instead, something about the walk there begins stirring up old memories. Even though there were quite a few changes, the path remained largely the same and I feel an odd comfort in that. Would Jackie be the same? Of course she would. What am I thinking? Yeah, totally. How many? Hold on, like... 17, 18, 19, like 7 years or something after we saved the world? Even in the earliest days before she even had her sentinel ring, she fought tooth and nail to become the woman she always knew she was. That never changed, even when her opponent was her own family. She had always known what she wanted in life, and we respected her for being so grounded. She sounds cool! Grounded, although there were definitely times she was more spaced out than me. Still, she was still always there for us whenever we needed her the most. All the more reason why I feel terrible looking back and seeing how little I've kept up with her. She never failed to call for holidays or my birthday. Despite that, I even lost her number. Man, why am I so bad at this? I really need one of those new cell phones with color ID. Not that I can afford a new phone anytime soon. Jeez. <laughs> this really is the early 2000s, huh? 
While weighing the options of a Mokia versus a flip phone, a Mokia? Indestructible Mokia phones. I've heard legends. I arrive at the gym in no time. The golden glove is still open, but it's nearly vacant, save for two people. Is that a boxing ring? Is she a boxer? In the center of the ring, I spot Jackie wearing mitts and catching punches from a little girl I haven't seen before. Oh, she's so cute! After you break my guard, I want you to land two body shots on me as hard as you can. After that, I'm going to swing and I need you to roll and repeat the pattern. I got it this time, coach. I'm ready. Then show me. Let's go. <laughs> this new girl starts to throw a flurry of punches that Jackie catches with her mitts. Every so often, she lets a few slip by her, allowing Layla to hit her in the same spot. Oh my gosh, they're both so cute! Jackie isn't just standing there and taking it either. Every so often, she quickly swipes her mitt near Layla's head to punish. But each time, Layla smoothly ducks and rolls out of the way. That's it. Now that's how you do it. Also, hi Armando. Yes, I remember you from literally yesterday's stream. Welcome back. Comfy out of 10, we go for a walk in the pixel art, right? Right, the pixel park. Keep your head moving and the pressure on. An opponent will get desperate, making it easier for you to pry open their guard. Coach Martinez, you said this would help me against taller people because it's supposed to lower their chin. How come yours isn't lowering? You'll have to hit harder if you want to lower my chin. What's important is that we build your confidence. You're young. Strength will come later. It never came for Ami Ami, though. I would hit... I would feel pretty confident if I knew I could knock someone down in one hit. I bet you would. You'll have to trust me on this one. Technique makes a better foundation for confidence than strength ever will. But if it makes you feel any better, I'm pretty sure this might bruise in the morning. Layla doesn't take long to bask in the praise before she notices and points at me with her glove. Uh, Coach Martinez, there's a weirdo watching us. A weirdo! Hey! What about me screams weirdo? It's definitely not my frog hat. Weirdo? Yeah, see? Same brain. Huh? Jackie is surprised when she turns to see me awkwardly standing at the foot of the ring. She must have really been focused if she didn't notice me until now. Hi, Shauna. Welcome. Welcome in. Ami Weirdo confirmed only according to this small child. This sassy child. Whose sassy child is this? Oh, hey. That's one of my weirdos. Oh. Jackie's cute, too. Hey! <laughs> See, that's even the kind of emoji face I would use, too. Hey, yourself, stranger. What are you doing here? What, I can't visit my friend? Friends usually call ahead. You caught me all gross and sweaty. Uh, well, you see... <laughs> you forgot my number, didn't you? Uh, I'm sorry! My memory's real bad. Yeah, what's with this sassy lost child? Exactly, roll. Mm. Who's the weirdo, coach? Again with the weirdo? What? what? Rude! All oh, right, Layla. Um, this is Ami. Ami is an old friend of mine from back when we were in high school. Layla stares intently, at, intensely at me as though she were trying to puzzle me out. An old friend and weird hair? Starlight? Huh? Oh, Layla! I knew it! I'm right! Jackie, what the hell? Well, hold on. I didn't tell her anything. I'm very smart. My daddy even says so. I already knew Coach Martinez's soul. See what I mean? A lot of the time, the magical girls look pretty much just like their IRL counterparts, so I'm surprised people can't figure it out. Like, freaking, have you guys read or watched Tokyo Mew Mew? Their Mew names are just the same as their regular first names, except with Mew at the front. <sighs> freaking Ichigo's boyfriend is like, Ich- Ichigo, I had no idea you were Mew Ichigo. And I'm like, dude, you're stupid. Jackie, why? It wasn't on purpose. You might not recognize her since it was a while ago, but Layla was someone I rescued back when we were saving the world. It was so cool. You were fighting monsters on a bridge and they were going all whack, wham, pow! 
It was so crazy! One of the most... One of the monsters hit the car that Daddy and I were in and went home Over the side. Daddy bumped his head, but I didn't. I wore my seatbelt. Oh, but we were sinking! But then, we stopped sinking because we were in a giant bubble and then BANG! The coach came in and busted our window and dragged us out! Wait a minute. Can we please go back to the part where your father bumped his head while falling off a bridge? Is he okay? He is alive, right? Amazing cover, never would have guessed, right? <laughs> huh? Daddy's way too tough to die, silly. He just went to sleep for a bit. Jackie rolls her eyes and sighs. <sighs> so apparently, her father knew my Theo and I out of sheer co coincidence. Wait, uh, so apparently my father knew my Theo. Her father knew my Theo, and out of sheer co coincidence, she joined our gym in and about in about the same year as our breakup. She uh, never seemed to have forgotten my face, I guess. Layla gasped. <gasps> you dated Starlight Santa? Wait, what? I thought it meant like the group breakup. Did they? Oh, <gasps> that's. Layla, the team. We're talking about when the team disbanded. Maybe if we didn't date... Maybe we wanted to date. Huh? Huh? Jackie is pretty cute. I know, what a twist. Hi, Olivia. Welcome in. Welcome back. It's good to see you again. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that makes a lot of a lot more sense. What do you mean? What do you mean? What's that supposed to mean? Okay, hold on. I was there dealing with the monster and was nowhere near you. How did you figure out who I am? Oh, that's easy. Coach has no social life, so you had to be one of them. <laughs> Dude, see, this is just like that, like... That, that, like, baby cousin of mine. Kids are savage. So savage. And yes, please no spamming. Please no spamming. I'll get to your messages as soon as I can. Layla. It's true, though. You're either here, hanging out with that biker girlfriend of yours, or going to concerts for that Aura lady. Girlfriend? Aura? <laughs> biker girlfriend? It's not what you think. They're just my friend. Look, you can ask... Jackie stops mid-sentence when Layla begins to mock her with kissing noises. <sniffs> Jackie clasps her hand suddenly. Gee, would you look at the time, Layla. How about you finish the day off with some jump rope before your father gets here? But... Hop to it. Layla nearly trips over herself as she runs off without question. She can be a handful, but she's got a good heart. So what about you, fearless leader? What have you been up to? Ugh, surviving. I work at a makeup store now, and I'm trying not to drown myself or drown from the rent while I figure out what I want to do with my life. Oh, thank you, Olivia. Say the line, oh, Ada Ada. Awa, awa! Awa, awa! <laughs> you know the little awa, awa dog? Awa, awa! <laughs> a makeup store, huh? It's gonna, it's gonna take a little more to make me actually ada ada in my amami ami voice, though. A makeup store, huh? That suits you. Good for you. Huh? Are you making fun of me? It's a retail nightmare. I'm not. You were always big on makeup, so it's nice that you get to work somewhere that suits one of your interests while you figure things out, right? It's nice to know we have something in common now. What do you mean? Figuring our lives out? Because I feel like that is just like... That is the young adult struggle. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's nothing. Are you sh... Uh, you know, that kid packs more of a punch than I give her credit for. Say, how about one of those good old-fashioned starlight patch-me-ups? I sigh to myself knowing that I'm not gonna pull out... Pull more out of Jackie when she gets evasive. <sighs> I look around to see if anyone else is in the gym. And when I see that we're alone, I nod my head. Alright, fine. Show me where it hurts. Mostly the sides. Here and here. I lower myself down to get a good look and place my hand where she guides me. Jackie's breath hitches when she feels a touch. <laughs> I forgot about this part. It used to tickle. I don't know how you could forget. I had to heal you more than anyone else on the team. Oh my gosh! They are totally... Totally... 
she's totally crushing. She's crushing, she's crushing. This is cute. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's what happens when your confidence leads with strength and not technique. I see. I could make out the damage Jackie was referring to. It was subtle and still fresh, but I've played the role of healer a lot. That's just like real ami ami. Now this takes me back. Noticing when something was off and that came naturally after I had enough experience. I wonder what went wrong. Not that I don't appreciate your attention, but are you gonna start soon or... Huh? I snapped out of my little daydream and noticed my magic was acting up. There was supposed to be bright light coming out of my fingertips. That's... not supposed to happen. What's wrong, Ami? My light is dim. It's supposed to be way brighter than this. What? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Look for yourself! I try straining my magic some more, but the light never glows any brighter. Oh, that is weird. Is it helping at least? Do you feel it? Uh, kinda? It's a little tingly. Maybe my tickle tolerance has gone up? Alistair warned me something strange was going on. This must be it. Jackie, have you had any issues with your magic? I haven't touched it in ages, Ami. Mine's a little dangerous to be throwing around in retirement, especially if your healing isn't working too well. I really don't want to bust open another punching bag for this. Those are pricey. You know mine is kind of fickle anyways, you're better off asking everyone else. Besides, if the little dude says there is something up, he's usually right. I try my best to hold back a groan. I knew I had an I told you so waiting for me when I got home. More than that, this was not how I pictured meeting up with everyone again. Tickle tolerance. Guess how guess how strong Ami Ami's tickle tolerance is. Guess. On a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being very tolerant of tickles. 1 being not very tolerant. Would cry. Guess. Fine. I guess I have some phone calls to make. Um, do you think that maybe you could... Missing their numbers too? Yeah... Don't worry, I got you. Jackie runs across the gym and pops open a door leading to an office. I can hear her scrambling for a few things here and there, but soon enough she comes out with a piece of paper and hands it to me. Here, this should be all our numbers. Once Alayla gets picked up, I'll be good to go. Just give me a call when you figure out when and where. But for now, I gotta get back to her training. We've got time. Ditch the rope, Layla. Take it back to the bag. Same routine as earlier, show me how you're going to be a champ. Yes, coach! Layla straightens up, tidying up her footwork. She releases a barrage of punches upon the training bag. Right. Thank you, Jackie. I guess I should head out then. Hopefully I'll see you soon. After saying my goodbyes, I take one last look around the gym and wave to Layla before I leave. She was so cute. Um, one, zero, zero. Why are there multiple people saying zero? Negative five, negative five, negative ten? Like two? Okay, two is at least a little bit more generous. Twenty? Wow, at least somebody believes in me. <laughs> mm, I would say Ami Ami's tickle tolerance. Is in that lower bracket, probably. My sisters, my little sisters love to bully me and they love tickling me whenever they get the chance. I would say I'm most ticklish. <laughs> I'm most ticklish around my neck, I think. Pretty ticklish. Mm -hmm. Um, you just sound like you're weak to tickles. Like, hey! <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Maybe if I, when I have that off collab with my senpais in Japan or something, I can have them tickle me. Do a tickle challenge! Tickle endurance challenge. Hey! It's probably like a two. It's probably a two because I've at least, like... He's nuts out of ten. <laughs> also, hi Coco Spurway! Welcome in! First time viewer but long time fan. Whoa! Thank you so much for being in here and welcome! Happy to have you here. And, um, welcome in, welcome in. That means a lot to me. You had a friend who would start panic laughing if someone's hand approached their tickle zone. <gasps> me too! Like, they don't even have to be making contact with me to, to like, tickle me. 
I I just have to see that their that their hand is near me and then I start laughing. It's 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 scary. <laughs> I text the former sentinels to meet me at the park. I scope out a place that's empty, so we won't be overheard. Magical Girl 101, keep your identities and intel secret. Too bad our old hideout was destroyed when Solaire lured the treacherous tango dancers right next to us. Right to us. Used the wrong card from his magical deck and blew the whole place up. Wow, we really remember those... All those little details very vividly. We truly peaked in high school. Solaire? Oh, I hope you never meet him. Ever. 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 I'm serious. <sighs> anyway. You did send the message out, right? Pages have been sent all around. Paging? I've only heard legends of paging. I wonder what Aura will be wearing today. Not this again. Mercifully, someone has arrived before I hear another rhyming ode to Aura. Looks like Aura and Jackie are here first. I caught her on the way in. She's hard to miss. I'll take that as a compliment. Miranda, aka Sentinel Nova, arrives next. Cute! I love her fashion! Look at the bucket hat! She still has that glow about her. Her specialty was creating things out of stardust. And then exploding them! Wah! She was never the most talkative member of the group, but she always pulled more than her weight. Hey, everyone. Long time no see. Miranda nods awkwardly. Yeah, it's kind of... partly my fault for not seeing her. Best not to shine too bright a light on that. Jackie and Miranda share a brief but friendly wave. Those two were never super close. Ara bounces forward to her. Miranda! How's work going? Oh, where do you work now? You didn't know? Typical. You didn't know where I worked until this morning. I wouldn't say that's my fault. Come on, you two. Ami, um, yeah, I'm working at a wood shop these days. It's good. I really wanted to put our magic days behind us, so I was surprised that you called. It's hard thinking back on those times. Hmm. I'd love to see what you're working on. Yeah! You know what? I'd love to see what you're working on. Miranda blushes suddenly. Oh, oh, well, visit me at the wood shop anytime. I can, uh, show you something I've been working on in my spare time. A wooden Ami Ami statue. Clearly. I know, I love it. I love the shirt too. I know, I wonder, it was probably hard on all of them. That's a lot of pressure to put on just mere children, you know? Saving the whole entire world. She's cute, though. She's super duper cute. That sounds great! So that's almost everyone, but there's still someone missing. Sentinel Perigi, our awkward little bubble girl. It's not like her to be late. Bubble girl? So, um, does anyone know if KJ got the memo? She probably won't come. She... Sorry. They hate all of us now. Hey? They hate ev everybody? Why? Oh, I guess you haven't seen them in a few years. You wouldn't know. If you haven't seen them in a few years, you wouldn't know. KJ realized they're not a girl about two years ago. They don't want to be called a girl or she. Just show them the same respect that you've shown me. Ah, they're a they now. I see, I see. Okay, I'll try to remember. So, they are still going by KJ, yeah? Yeah. Well, they're still our shy little perigee. I'll accept them no matter. Someone pulls up on a motorbike. Weird. I don't know what someone would be doing here at this hour. The stranger dismounts and walks toward the group. They remove their helmet. Whoa! Is that KJ? They're so hot! Oh. My. God. Hey there, handsome. Ugh. KJ? Hey, princess. It's been a while, huh? Sorry I'm late. Try my best to keep composure over how different KJ is compared to when we were in high school. I want to see it before and after pics! Wait. Are... Are those tattoos? They must have had, like, a giant glow up or something. Oh, wait! Oh my gosh, wait! If we look at the, the title screen... Or, like, one of the beginning graphics, they were probably the one with the glasses, huh? 
Like the shy looking one with glasses. Never mind. Composure lost. Are you feeling okay? You look a little out of it. You look amazeballs. This is amazing. Oh, thanks, Prince. Don't call me princess. <laughs> Don't call me princess. <laughs> Yeah, after the Sentinels split up, I was left figuring out what I wanted to do with my life. Turns out the bigger question was not what I wanted to do, but who I wanted to be. I kinda always wanted tattoos and a dress like this. Even back in the old days, I was just too chicken. Anyways, I don't think we all came here to hear my life story. I take it there's a problem? Alistair has been behaving really strangely during this conversation. He must be really anxious. Go on. Tell them. Has anyone else noticed their magic failing? <sighs> I haven't tried using my magic recently, but I have been feeling more exhausted than usual. Remember to call Ami Princess. Eh? <laughs> <Ciao>. <laughs> All right. Chaotic. I don't know if you want me to call. If you're okay with me calling you Chao, but chaotic. Mm. Princess Ami Nana <laughs> Ami Ami wants to be your princess. <laughs> mm. Yeah, the art style is so cute, right? Hi, Rosalia. Yeah, they're so they're so cute and so gay. They really are. I know, right, guys? They're so cute. I haven't tried using my magic recently, but I have been feeling more exhausted than usual. <laughs> okay, you guys are making me blush. You guys are making me blush. I'm gonna not look at chat for a little bit. <laughs> but that might be because of my new schedule. I've been a lot busier since I've started working on the sentimentality line. The... what? Uh, I'll let someone fill you in on that later. Anyone else? Have you tried using your magic lately? No, but... Miranda sighs and holds out her hand, palm upwards. <sighs> Specks of dust begin to stream from her fingertips, materializing out of thin air. They swirl around her hand with an ethereal glimmer before disappearing in a tiny, controlled explosion. Seems fine? I would check, but I don't want to hurt anyone here accidentally. There's a lot of trees around, fire hazard. So I guess it's just me then. I mean, I can test it now, but do you want me to? I'd have to do it to one of you. You can do anything you want to me, Aura. I don't want to hurt you. Angelically beautiful Anne cares about her friends. Oh, how I have missed you. Wow, Alistair! Betrayal! Betrayal! I'm gonna make Alistair Oshihen. Alistair, first off, it's been years. Second off, you're a cat. It's never going to work. Don't speak on my behalf. I missed you too, kitty. Just because you're single and lonely doesn't mean you have to project onto me. <laughs> Pain! Alistair! Alistair, how dare! Thirsty cat! Thirsty cat! Wow! Oh, I really missed you. Ugh, anyways. Aura, use your attack magic on me. I can take it. Didn't you literally just say your healing powers aren't working? Oh, right. Okay, I can still take it, but go easy. I wonder what kind of power it is. Unless you want to use the charming attack on me- No. Miranda, cover your ears, okay? I know you have sensitive hearing. Wait, what? My hearing is perfectly normal. I don't need to be baby- Oh, Miranda gets cut off because Ara lets out a screeching high note, quietly, but not so quiet that it doesn't send a shockwave of pain through my skull. Ah! Ow, ow, ow! I said, go easy on me! Oh, uh, hopefully I went easy on you guys as well. I tried to not go as high as I possibly could. When I look back over at her, Ara is staring at me like I'm a ghost. I... I did... I should have knocked you out. If you were defending, you weren't and you still barely did anything. Huh? Was I supposed to be doing something? 
Nobody gave me the usual order to defend someone while they did something stupid. Knock me out? That's not going easy! And why are you always trying to tell me what to do? You would only have been for a few seconds! I can handle a little noise. Also, that's still a foul play, even if it didn't work out. No one is letting me talk. Girls, let's stay on track here. <clears throat> Not a girl. <clears throat> Listening to this squabble is giving me a hairball. Oh my gosh, this is giving me a hairball too. They really don't get along, huh? Yeah, there are some major issues here. Please, let's not have it come to that. Although, it's better than him hucking one up at home. The point is, something is deeply wrong with magic. And if we keep fighting amongst each other, we'll never get to the bottom of this. The group looks around at each other, unsure. Alistair's right, but... Can we really work together? When some of us have changed so much? And some of us... I haven't. I look at Aura, and she raises her eyebrows back at me as if to ask, What? Could this just be a fluke? This isn't a lot to go on. Personally, I prefer it this way. I never liked my powers. It's not about liking your powers or not. If magic in general is in danger, we need to protect it. Hmm. Gosh, I... Uh... It almost makes it harder that there's like a in-between option. They all seem to hate on me. Why hate on me? Why? Just because I was bad at keeping track of phone numbers? Hmm. It doesn't matter how we feel about magic, that's true. We need to stop arguing and do something about the problem at hand. Our opinions on magic don't have to change just to investigate if there's an issue. We should still check it out, just to make sure no one is getting hurt. Sometimes you just gotta get into the ring. Jackie's corny line aside, she has a point. Can everyone at least agree to look into it a little? Keep their eyes and ears open? Begrudgingly, the team nods along. Okay then, let's keep alert and keep in touch. I hope this is just some fluke, but maybe an excuse to see everyone again isn't so bad? Yeah, Jackie seems chill at least. We all leave for the night, maybe a little worse for the wear. I let Aura take the reins on explaining the Sentinel makeup line to Jackie, KJ, and Miranda later on. And somehow, I doubt that conversation will be hunky-dory. Hunky-dory? Who uses that? What a day. <sighs> I love our room, though. We have a Rilakkuma plushie, and I think that's a Hello Kitty. And we have some cute, some cute posters. That's Sailor Moon? Must be a Sailor Moon poster. Looks kind of like Ami Ami's room. Except a lot less plushies. The store having a big product launch event would have been enough to make it a momentous day in a string of normally dull ones. But then Aura was our celebrity guest. And it didn't stop there. It's been so long since I've been to the Col Golden Glove, catching up with Jackie. Then magic failing, seeing the whole team together and how much they've all changed. Miranda, especially KJ. It's so much to take in. My brain is swirling, and not in a fun, soft-serve, ice-cream kind of way. Is there really something wrong with magic? Will I be able to reconnect with my old teammates without making the rifts between us worse? Will we be able to come together again as a team? My mind is racing about the future, the future, the future! What is it, what is it, what is it going to bring this time? It was scary before when I was just worrying about next month's bills. But now it feels even worse. Am I even half the Sentinel Starlight I once was? If there is some, some crisis, will I be able to conquer it this time? My head is throbbing with all this worrying. My eyes are heavy. I better get some rest. Um, does Ami... Imagine hating Ami though, like who hurt them? Yeah, who hurt you? I don't want to hurt anybody. Does Ami Ami have a lot of posters? I do, but they're not up on the wall in this... In this house, unfortunately. In my previous apartments, they were. And, uh, like, when I lived with my parents and stuff, they were. Um, I have lots of Ronka posters from Macross Frontier. I have a Nakajima Megumi poster from her... Her, like, first solo album. That is signed by her, and I have one that's not signed by her. I have stories about that. Um... And I have like a Gochiusa poster, I have a Monogatari poster. I have lots of Monogatari posters actually. Mm hmm. And some prints and stuff that I bought from cons that I've just never put up. 
The problem here is that I don't think I'm allowed to put things on the wall here. But perhaps one day if I get my own place or if I move out to a different place. I am hoping... Hoping and hoping and working hard to hopefully save up enough money to move out with some of my friendos in a couple of months. That would be nice. So that I can, like... I can, like... Be in a... It would kind of be a streamer house. Because <laughs> one of them is... One of them is a VTuber, too. And it'd be really fun to live together with them. It's like the... The same group of friends that has the... 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 That had the lesbian wedding a while back. Hmm... Hopefully I'll be able to, and then I can like make a proper, proper recording booth and stuff. It's not will I, but will we? Ah. <laughs> um, I'm going to probably wrap up stream in just a tiny bit, so that we can raid into Suki Senpai because she did start her stream, or she was supposed to start stream ten minutes ago or so. Um, but we will be continuing. We'll be continuing this game in um in a future stream next week. We'll probably make this a weekly series as well, just like Pocket Mirror and stuff was. Then you'd have full access to the lesbian sword. I would! I would! I would. I don't know if I'm worthy of wielding it, though. Um, hi, Taco Ninja Cat! Welcome in! Um, let me just get through this dream sequence real quick. That night, I had the most amazing dream. Honestly, most of my dreams lately have been kind of dull or stressful. Doors that won't open, running but can't move, the usual life is stressing me out kind of dreams. But not this one. I feel warm and full of joy. It's like living through a movie of some kind some of the Sentinel's greatest hits. Like the time Sentinel Aurora or Boyong lulled a Hydra to sleep with her singing. Ami Ami wants to lull a Hydra to sleep with her singing. We went into the sewers beneath Diamond Cove and she was so grossed out. But she put on a beautiful performance anyway. That's the thing about Boyong. She's very opinionated and butts heads a lot, but you can rely on her when it counts. At least, that's who I hope she still is. Before I can dwell too long on the present, my dream takes me to another memory. A dream of the time we'd been through a couple of ru a rough couple of weeks. We were all stressed out and exhausted. Sentinel Nova used her exploding stardust to cheer us all up with an impromptu fireworks display on the roof of the school. Wow. She's not very talkative, but she cares deeply about making people happy. Then I dream of our geeky sentinel, sentinel perigee. Wow, that's what KG, KJ used to look like! Wow! KJ always felt out of place on the team. Their invincible bubble saved us from collapsing buildings, toxic gas, mind control, but then somebody else had to defeat the bad guys. I wish KJ knew how much we loved them as a sentinel and a friend. I really hope this self-reinvention isn't coming from a negative place. And finally we have Jackie, Sentinel Soul. I have never known anyone stronger in my whole life, both physically and emotionally. Yeah, both ver versions of KJ were cute. There are few things more satisfying in this world than catching a villain monologuing and then... BAM! A Jackie Red Hot, hot Fist to the face! Yeah! You know, if a villain is monologuing, why not just interrupt them? Is this a newer game retro style, or are we playing an ac actual retro game? See, I would like to play an actual retro game one day, like a... Oh my gosh, like Doki Doki... Not Doki Doki, Tokimeki Memorial, or something like that. But, um, this is a new one. A new retro game that came out. A new retro style game. Mm -hmm. She's always the first one in a fight and the last one out. She likes to keep things simple. Though I want, sometimes wonder if things with her are more complicated than she lets on. And then there's... me. At first, discovering I'm from another planet scared me so much. As it would anybody, I guess. My role as the last princess of the Ser Serentia royal family, sworn guardians of truth and justice, seemed like big shoes I could never fill. Yeah, this is definitely like some Sailor Moon influence here. Tokimeki is in English. I was, um... I, I, I did find an English version. Though I'm not sure that it's, uh... Official. But we could try to play through it in Japanese and see how far Ami Ami can get in Japanese. Can we play Ami Ami Idol Club next time? That would be a, that would be so cute if somebody made like an Ami Ami fan game called Ami Ami Idol Club or something. But I did. After many years of victories and defeats, I realized I'd grown into somebody both my adoptive and birth parents would be proud of. 
And then that chapter of my life ended. But the years kept coming. And they don't stop coming! They don't stop coming! <laughs> and I found myself stuck in a loop and unsure what to do. How do you top saving the world? Does it all just get worse from here? I think we need to find a new dream. I wish I could go back to those simpler days. Life made sense. I knew my purpose. I had friends. I never want to lose that joy again. Beep! 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 My alarm clock pops my dream like a balloon. I lay there for a while staring up at the ceiling. Seeing everyone again, seeing the makeup line, it really flipped the switch somewhere inside me. Alistair nags me out of bed. At least some things never change, and I hurry to work. Don't... Hi, okay. So, we're going to be stopping here, but I love the game so far. What do you guys think? Are you, uh... Are you interested? You want me to keep playing it from week to week? I... I really want to see what's going on with the magic. And what kind of routes we can take and stuff. I'm very invested. I know... Normally, I would go a lot longer, but I do want to raid into Shiki Senpai before it gets too late. Hi. I know, I love it so far. I love it. So, thank you so much to the devs for working so super hard on it. And if you would like to check out the game yourself, I did drop the link. It's free! It's free! On Steam. So, if you want to check it out, I did drop the link in the description below. And... I am really, really happy that I got to play it. Uh, Thesis, thank you so much for the dono. Thank you, thank you. Shiki is already underway, yes. So we gotta get in there, we gotta get in there. Um, first of all, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be raiding off... No, raiding off. I'm gonna be reading off some of my memberships and super chats and tips for today. And then we're gonna raid into Shiki Senpai. Um, the stream was a bit short, but it was fun nonetheless. Thank you for the fun stream. Thank you! It was really fun anyway. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun coming up with voices for everybody. Hope to see more of this game if you choose to keep going with it. I'm probably definitely gonna keep going with it. So we'll definitely continue it next week. Thank you so much, Ray Ray, for joining Frog Champs. Welcome in! Mwah. Thank you, Tip, for the tip earlier. I like Omni. Thank you, I like Tip. Mwah. Thank you, Midori Field. Hi, thanks for playing, and thank you for the hard work on the game as well. Mwah. Ukiyo, thank you so much for being a Frog Champ for a whole month. Reject Magical Girl Return to Frog. Mwah. And thank you, Athesis, for the $20 dono as well. Thanks for the stream, Princess Ami Ami. <laughs> Such a cute, cute, cute game. Loving the voices as well. We getting the girls back together again. We do be. Mwah. Thank you, Athesis. Thank you, thank you. Lots of streams going on. Yeah, see, I kind of... So, something for the future is I kind of want to... Like, this honestly is the ideal time for me to stream. And apparently, according to my, like, uh... My analytics and stuff, this is the time when most of you guys are active on YouTube. So, I try to stream around this time. But I also don't want to have overlap with my... With my agency mates, you know? So, I'm wondering... Maybe I should just... Maybe I should just, like, change my stream times altogether so that I can avoid overlap. This is the best stream time for you, TBH. Well, then I guess I will keep streaming at this time. I guess I will keep streaming at this time in that case. Mm. Unless, like, there seems to be a big demand. I don't know. I, I'm probably gonna poll people about it on my community tab and see if, like, it's a lot of trouble for you guys to have so much overlap. But, uh, avoiding overlap will be impossible. See, I, I like to try. So I like... <laughs> I have inputted every single agency mate's calendars into my Google Calendar so I can like try and like schedule around people's streams, which is what I tried to do for like... some of the streams this week. But it, it has... it has not worked out. <laughs> it has not worked out. So maybe I'll keep doing my 5 p.m. Pacific time streams. I don't know. Yeah, overlap is very hard to avoid. I mean, you can try to, like, avoid it as much as possible. But it's, it's difficult. And plus, I want to stream at a time that it's good for you guys as well. Mm -hmm. You keep multiples open at once and flip between them. I, yeah, I do know some fans have told me that they have kept, like, six different streams open at once. And I don't know how you do it, but I appreciate you being here, you know? I appreciate you making time for me. Making time for Frog Champs and all of that. 
Even though there's a lot of other things you could be doing at the time. Hmm. A Prism Project Discord would be nice. There is a Prism Project fan Discord, I think. Um, I, I, I learned about it because they... The Prism Cord made a really, really sweet... Um, Kudo board to welcome Gen 5 in when, when we debuted. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you're amazing. Wow. I don't know how you do it. Unless you want to stream in the morning, you only have Naki and Yura overlap. Then I don't think I could wake myself up that early. And plus, sometimes I have things in the morning. Mm. Autism powers let you watch four streams at once. That's amazing. That is a superpower in and of itself, you know? This is the only time you'd be able to catch Ami TBH, otherwise work takes precedent, unfortunately. Which I totally understand. So... I mean, it seems to work really well for most of you guys, so I guess we'll keep... We will keep the times the same for now. This works really well for me as well. Mm -hmm. Um, also thank you so much Super Dark Aqua for the $10 dono as well. Thank you for the stream, Ami Hime. <laughs> Your voice acting is always so good. <laughs> Thank you so much, Aqua. <coughs> Hold on. <sighs> you can only really have two streams on in the background and maybe a main task. Yeah, that's about me too. That is my like... That's my limit. It's like... Be, I'll be like working, listening to one stream, having another stream open with like slightly lower volume or something like that. And that's the most I can do, really. But, um, I'm going to be heading out here now. We will definitely continue Life After Magic at a later date. Next week, probably. And let's go give Shiki Senpai lots and lots of love for the countdown to her debut single. Shall we? And the raid message will be... The raid message will be... Um... Congrats... Congratulations... Shiki... There you go. Congratulations, Shiki! There you go. Hi! Thank you guys so much for supporting this little magical girl princess. And I will see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow's a double stream day. We're going to be doing some Pikmin 3 and Pikmin 4 demo tomorrow. Um, at 3 p.m. Pacific time. And then afterwards, we're going to be raiding into my new cover. And then, hopefully, hopefully, my, uh, Manetan said that we might end up getting it, like, properly edited or something, which would be cool. In which case, I will push it off longer. Um, and then after that is going to be... After that is going to, um, after the cover is going to be the, um... What's it called? My members only watch along of the next four episodes of U149. So, can't wait to show you guys the cover! And also to finish up, not finish up, but get further in Idol Master with you all. Hmm. Yeah, they don't know she's a major ar artist under Sony Music Labels. Haha. <laughs> I saw that post, I saw that post. Hi, I'll see you guys tomorrow! Oyasu Ami! Bye-bye!